universe is just as real as yours. With SimCity 3000, you have more power to build and control your city than ever before. Recreate your version of the world's greatest cities using landscapes such as San Francisco or Berlin and landmark buildings like the Empire State Building or Big Ben. Create your own unique buildings using the SimCity Building Architect Tool. Then zoom in close to your metropolis as it comes to life with people and traffic in living color and full 3D sound. All new missions and cool disasters test your abilities to run your city or destroy it. SimCity 3000, the city is yours. Fallout, an increasingly important word in the atomic and hydrogen age. The facts from federal civil defense tell us that fallout could hurt you, might even kill you. Well, what about it, mister? What is this fallout stuff? Fallout is nothing more than particles of matter in the air made radioactive by nuclear explosions. Sooner or later, however, they settle to Earth. This is fallout, and it can be very dangerous if you don't know what to do about it. Well, do you know what to do about it, Grandpa? Not yet, young man, but I will. There are four major characteristics of an A-bomb or H-bomb explosion. They are blast, heat, initial radiation, and residual radiation. All this clear so far, sister? Sure, but you've talked about fallout from enemy bombing. Our government very carefully tests only small nuclear devices in the United States. So these are the facts that should reassure and encourage you. Be ready to assist in defense preparations in your community if your help is needed. For fallout is only one fallout one of them. Fallout one.
with Warm Jim, one of the hottest selling video games of 1994. Winner video game product of the year and star of TV, Toys, and now Windows 95. Jim is a plasma blasting superhero, a lean, mean, crawling machine. This worm is bursting with adventures and exploding with attitude through an incredible 20 levels of high-octane gameplay from New Junk City to Buttville. Every level is this totally unique environment, of course, oozing with lower life forms like Psycho, Professor Monkey for a head, Major Mucus, and, of course, Queen Slug for a butt. It's a galaxy of unearthly delights. Earthworm Jim. He's an international supernova fighting for truth, justice, and the invertebrate way. Available for Windows 95 from Activision. What makes you sweat? Is it passion? Or could it just be heat? What about not knowing if your very next breath will be your last? What about all three? Tomb Raider. From IDOS Interactive. Hey guys, welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction. This is Camilio, and we are playing some Wing Commander 3. Uh, I think we have some talking to do here. Same as always. I think so, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's a first. Here, maybe? Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm Again, the fucking nebula. Get us to the new jump point, Colonel. Word is Confed's got some other plans for us, and it'd be a shame to disappoint them. But since we're moving such a large force, you can bet the Karathi will want to give us one of their noisy send-offs. Good luck, Colonel. <laughs> so, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. One last thing. Who, who, who? Who, who, who? I, I really don't care, honestly. Oh, Flint, Flint, it's been a while. I want you to be. Torpedoes have nothing. Oh, I can autopilot this series. Should I have done that? Bogies in sight. Okay, well, we're going there. So that's not. Okay. Breaking attack. Taking it to him.
on, come on. Shit. This might take a while. Shields take a long time to regenerate. It's not over. No. Oh man. I don't know. I don't want to attack uh, them near that thing. <clears throat> Shields recharge uh, pretty fast. <sighs> and do we do we have to kill them? We have to. I don't need 
tower here. I need to know that fast. Wow, look at how much. Uh, yeah, no, okay. Uh, I do need shields, maybe more than weapons. I don't know. Is there any damage? Communication? Ah, shields are damage. Great. Um, that will do that for a little while. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, power. my boost. No, I wasted it. I should have just restarted this whole thing.
for one hell of an endurance run. God damn it. Skipper missiles or shit like that. Okay, I need. Man, they're super far. Okay, I need all my my fuel, so I'm gonna not waste it. Are they coming at me or at the tigers? No, the Concordia. As soon as my wingman's dead, I should just reload. Bogey's in sight. Break an attack. attack. Taking it to him. What? Oh, oh god damn it! What the fuck is going on? Game bust. Just kill me.
Ah oh, man, I'm still getting hit in the back. Come on! Fuck it, I'm ejecting. Oh. Bogey's in sight. Break and attack. Taking it to him. Breaking attack. Taking it to him. target. I'm reloading and you are not coming with me. Fuck Flint. She's supposed to be good against big ships. We're all equal here. Oh fuck it, I don't wanna... I wanna skip all this. What's going on? Okay. 
Oh no, this is when I came out of this. Oh. This is the same. So, these. I don't know, Ob's or Maniac. Let's go with Maniac. It just fucking kills. Break and attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. You will not survive this battle. Oh, I forgot to adjust it. What's going on, Maniac? Capable of killing him? Already he did. I had the first kill. Did go for the for the candle show. Power. Excellent. Watch and learn, Colonel. Close for a ship wire. That's weird. That's interesting. God damn it. It's pretty much the same scenario as with Fred. Now they're too close to this and it's super dangerous. Come on, don't die. Ah, oh, fuck! You're on your own, Ace. I'm bailing. You suck. How am I gonna do this now? Whatever, we're gonna do this. She sees whatever. I, do. I should tell him to go by my way. That was too far. The one is already behind me. Come on, Tata! Yeah. Okay. Okay, not using any missile this time. I thought he was the only one. I was done. Okay, his back is no, uh, has no armor. I can autopilot? I skipped it? Uh. Oh well, whatever.
bumped into me, the fucker! I might not be able to do this because of you. Come to me. Damage. What's up with that last time? It's bullshit. That's what it is. Okay, now he's right there. And I have to shoot him. Just because we're in one. Hey, zombie. Oh, we have a lot of refuel. Okay. This is good. Why is he not shooting at me? Is he shooting at the thing? shooting at me. I think he's shooting at the battle cruiser. Oh, maybe. I'm not really gaining on him right now. Okay. Now we got it. He's, he's, getting, he's going faster than us. After he's boost. Interesting. We did it once, we can do it again. A pretty good spot right here. Faster than us. Eh, our speed is okay. Except for the speed. Ah, but I like it slow. For some reason, it's not really hitting me. Huh. It was so much easier than last time. What the fuck was up? far what about the other one that's pretty far also they're all separated now that's interesting okay, this should be pretty easy <gasps> or not the other one just missile Nice stuff. 
get in this I don't know. Just doesn't want to. He's coming back. Ah, ah, da. Oh, ah! What is that? Okay, I think that's uh, my decoys. Missile hit him and he didn't even die. God damn it, this is tough. Why is this so tough? Wow, submission. This is crazy. This is just crazy. Once one would be there, it'll be at least that. No, no. Forget him. <gasps> a missile. No. Oh my god, I don't even know why I survived that. <gasps> a lock again? Uh. mission oh. there's four of them four of them I 
I don't know how to... This is like crazy hard for no reason whatsoever. This guy needs to survive, it's super important. <laughs> it's party time. Uh, attack my target. Attack my target. Not possible, Ace. Eh, ah, oh, fuck you. It's... Break an attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. I have been cheated on my victory. Or <laughs> kitty litter. <laughs> I'm hot today. I need hogs on this mission. You can take this and then talk monkeys. Or kitty litter. <laughs> I'm hot today. Okay, attack my target. Attack my target. Ah. I'm not gonna follow me in the attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. <laughs> it's party time. Attack my target. Not possible, Ace. <laughs> Break an attack. Watch and learn, an Colonel. You all Breaking suck. Attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Breaking attack. Watch and learn, Colonel.
strategic. Uh... He's gonna go away. Yeah, I know. But, but you're dumb. Why are you there? You're a dumbass. Hey, wait, sir. Less careless, so we shouldn't go into those lasers. That's just dumb. Why would so flames do that? Break an attack. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Communication obs. Four on my wing. Okay. Did you say affirmative? You better. Come on here, obs. What are you doing? He's still there. He's coming back. Excellent. He's coming. Yeah, he's all fucked up. That's your own fault, you dumbass. How would you do that? Okay, now break you can attack. break an attack. Yeah. You don't know to fly your own ship. I'm gonna tell you how to fly your ship. Ah, they just go. God damn it. Whoa! No, attack my attack target, my you dumbass. You just want to attack the Corvette for some reason. I have dispatched yeah, attack this one then. Attack my target. Affirmative, Colonel. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> He's just so efficient. Goes around. Let's look at him. Boom, 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 boom. No, okay. Okay. 
don't think we need to. Yeah, we don't need to do this. Oh, so come on. He survived. So, yay. This should be better. Decided enemy craft, Colonel. Yes, uh, attack my target. Attack my target. Affirmative, Colonel. my target. Corvette, we might not need to. Okay. Okay, can I attack, attack my stuff? target? Affirmative, Colonel. Scott.
Oh man. There you go. Oh, it's still going. Break and attack. Engage an enemy now. It's not over yet. Break an attack. This is why I died, I think, last time. The last wave I did. Yeah, it was this far again. <laughs> These guys are a little easier, but they're the Dark Knight with the other ones. That all. <sighs> Need clearance, TCS Victory. You're cleared, Colonel. Looks like we got brass coming in. Probably want to kick us while we're down. Oh, is this over or not? What about it? Okay, I think it's over. Brass, that's a new coming in. You're lucky you made it back in one piece. It's like I failed or something. I failed.
An honor and a privilege having you aboard, Admiral. Pleasure, Captain. Thank you. Sir? Ah, well, looks like a good bunch. Well, the legendary Colonel. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Admiral. We're all equal here. Score points with the Admiral. <laughs> We're all equal here. Yeah, all equal. But there are no legends aboard this ship, just pilots trying to get the job done. Well, I'm not sure such modesty becomes you, Colonel. Let's see if we can add to the legend. Hmm? Oh, I've brought my own cook on board, so let's see if we can get some decent food. Score points with the animal. <laughs> seem like old home week to you. First the Kilrathi Prince, and now Admiral Tolwyn will be next. Sorry. Enjoy. I know who you're thinking about. Do you? You must be a mind reader. No, I just know more about your history than you might be aware of. She's a colonel in covert ops, right? How did you become such a student of history? That was my weapon growing up. Being the girl, I had to have something to get an edge. And one thing I know about my history is that you and the Admiral have crossed paths more than a few times. She says being a girl. This is like 2,600 something. Man. <laughs> it's none of her business. I would expect things to have changed. Bro. It's none of her business. She can see Tallwin's a jerk. <laughs> Let's go with this. Bumped heads is more like it. And he knows history too. Plus every rule and regulation. Yeah, he just doesn't know the human heart. I can't argue with you there, Flint. Okay. Is he gonna do it? The briefing? Welcome. <coughs> As you may or may not know, we are currently en route to the Torgo system, where we will rendezvous with destiny. Gentlemen, I give you the Confederation's finest achievement, the behemoth. After a decade of secret research and development, our greatest minds have created the device that will spell doom for the Kilrathi. Behemoth is a series of linked, superconducting energy amplification conduits focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. Any target at the end of that point is destroyed. Even a planet? Yes, Captain. Even a planet. It's a dead star. Would have liked another year or two Luke is like testing and development, but I need to do something. Unfortunately, circumstances have forced me to deploy the weapon now. And might I ask why? Admiral. Well, you should know the answer to that more than anyone else, Colonel. The classified and it's bitter truth <laughs> is that Confed has been losing the war this past year. If the current trend continues, the Kilrathi will be walking on the Earth in six months, maybe less. So, the behemoth must be pressed into service earlier than anticipated. Because of this accelerated deployment, the ship's defensive systems are, well, how can I put this, uh, somewhat incomplete. There's a trench. There are a few uh, soft spots located here and here. Where the shields are thin, there's been no time to complete keel mounts or laser turrets. 
I expect you to be especially aware of these areas, Colonel. It'll be your job to protect and defend this ship. This should be looked upon as the Confederation's last ditch effort to win the war outright. Yes? Yes, thank you. I understand. Thank you. Well, the download is complete. We have arrived at Torgo, gentlemen, where I had hoped for a nice smooth rendezvous with the behemoth. But as is their wont, the Kilrathi have spoiled the party. Colonel, this is undoubtedly the most important mission you've ever flown in your life. You must defend the behemoth at all costs. I want a magnum launch. All fighters up. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Last mission was a bitch, we will be over this bit. Okay, I don't choose my wingman, I have an arrow. Fuck you. <laughs> Why an arrow? Ah, at least it's not in a nebula. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so let's defend. Yeah, I go way too fast for these ships. Anyways. Uh, uh. Oh. oh, you see the little clock the uncloaked there. Trouble oh! to them unless they decide to stop after them. Oh my god. Oh, I guess they're gonna kill him. No? I should get out of here. There are like three on him. Who's here? Flash? Who's the other two? Flint? Primates? I don't know who Primate is. Break an attack. Taking it to him. Whatever. I'll lose. 
breaking the tap. Tell him that this time. Objectives accomplished. There you go, your most important mission in your life. Mission accomplished, but I still have to kill these guys. I can't go back. Can I? Okay. Again. Can I just escape this? Flight to where we are. End of set two. You take the beam out. You turn home. TCS victory. Colonel, you've just confirmed my belief that you and the victory were the correct choices for this undertaking. The behemoth requires some light maintenance prior to moving out, so we won't be leaving this system just yet. So. Smoked him, Colonel. Smoked him right. Thanks, G. Insert CD4, okay. I'm going to make sure right there. Go save first. I played flashback on I no okay no I played flashback on, on stream but I also played out of this world I played the Amiga the SNES and the PC version did I play the Genesis version anyway I played a bunch of uh, of versions that was cool uh, Let's just go here to be sure to not uh, forget Rachel. And I'll take a little break and I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Ever since Freddie Farkas set up his pharmacy in the post-gold rush town of Coarse Gold, California, he's kept a rather low profile. Mind the store, won't you, Srini? I'm off to uphold justice and stuff. But as a strange onslaught of trouble gallops into town, it's up to Freddy to save Coarse Gold from disaster and desertion by bringing his secret gunslinging past out of the closet. I've got to dredge up my ugly past, dust it off, fluff it up, and put it on again. Experience Freddy Farkas, frontier pharmacist, as it was meant to be, on CD-ROM, with full multimedia voice, sound, and musical score. Pharmacology. Farkas. From a land far, far away. With help from his loyal Indian sidekick, Sereni Lakaka Bagnish, Freddy, once the youngest sheriff and fastest gunslinger in the West, sets out to save his hometown from invading outlaws, a crooked sheriff, and even horse flatulence. Freddy Don't Farkas, frontier car, pharmacist. Boy. The funniest adventure yet from Al Lowe, creator of the legendary Leisure Suit Larry. Some of your fine coarse gold fillings. It packs more laugh-out-loud entertainment than a posse of cowpoke. Oh, what's that? That's answer question. A simple point-and-shoot interface makes this fully interactive comedy western easy to saddle up and play. So, grab your pistols and pistols and start mixing it up with some of the craziest characters from the way out west in Sierra's latest interactive CD-ROM release, Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. Long ago, you returned from exile. But now, fate will not be so kind. Your enemies thirst for victory. Your struggle has only just begun. This is Tannis Control. The hyperspace core is away. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with the transfer. Guard order. Okay, we're back. My, my, Grandma, what a big gun you have. <laughs> they don't get any bigger. That's what they all say. Talk is cheap. Maybe you haven't noticed, but the shields on this thing are really thin. I guess it sucks up so much juice that the usual standard equipment gets shortchanged. That's probably in the specs for next year's model. Yeah, and Christmas tree lights, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. I suppose this wouldn't interest you. 
coded transmissions? Yeah, about a million of them. And they're weird, too. Not the usual codings. I can't even begin to break them. Lieutenant, we have an admiral on board. Now, his transmissions are supposed to be coded. Colonel, I've been around high rankers before. This is definitely different. <sighs> Damn Tolwyn. He's always got something up his sleeve. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Sir, I know there are times when you think I'm a little crazy, but I do know my job. Well, keep me posted. hero. Well, I must say that so far I'm very impressed you haven't lost your touch. May we uh, speak privately, Admiral? Get it off your chest, Colonel. Sir, it's a little unclear to me precisely what your status is aboard this ship. Look, I took the helm of the Behemoth Project ten years ago. And there's no intention to usurp command. <laughs> I'd be a little more careful regarding my choice of words, Colonel. Admirals, by definition, do not usurp. I thought at long last we'd achieved a measure of respect for each other. Obviously, I was wrong. You may realize by now that your assignment here was a little more than merely fortuitous. We're headed to kill Ra with that thing, aren't we? Well, what would you aim for if you had the biggest gun in the universe? <laughs> I remember that quote. <laughs> okay. Let's go buy some shit. Looks like it might be getting back to normal around here. Hmm. Can't say it'll ever be normal while the Admiral's on board. It takes a certain sort to be an Admiral, me. I'll take guiding just one ship. The day-to-day -day successes are more tangible. Let's get to it, Colonel. The Mahima's not ready to move out yet, and we need to keep the Kirathi away from it. Mind these four jump points and make sure that they take out all comers. We'll eventually need this fifth point for our exit with the behemoth. Clear? So, the... Okay. Can, I can try Flynn this time. Oh, we just flew with her. Uh, yeah, let's go with Vagabond. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed, and good luck. Longbow. Okay. Porcupine mines. I have no choice, I guess. No, I do. I don't know how to use mines. I never I was never good at using mines. I'm gonna keep them, maybe? Maybe. Sometimes when you're really getting hit in the back. Oh, was that the, the mission was the lines, right? Uh, take off, fly to waypoint, mine jump point. Yes. Mine the other jump points. Mine the other jump points. Mine the other jump points. Do I put only one mine? I have eight of them. It's like. Not a lot. I'll I'll put two. <clears throat> we got company. 
Break and attack. Here we go. Oh my, this is so slow. Oh, against them. <laughs> it's a joke. attack. Here we go. Someone in my back. Seems to be this guy here. Recharged pretty fast. Okay. Wow, that was the f this is the first path I need to lay mines, but those are mines, right? So we did he did it. I think he did. This looks like mines. The yellow dots should be. We got company. Breaking attack. Breaking attack. Here we go.
This is the other jump point. Dragon bomb. Here, so I need to go on mines. I should have dropped just one, just in case. So I just push the button. Proceed to next waypoint. <gasps> it didn't say that last time. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to jump point one. Proceed to next waypoint. Okay, so this is the this one. Okay. We can we do got this. company. So we have just enough mines. In the briefing, did it say to use two mines? Breaking attack. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was dumb. I just died. I bumped into a ship. It did the clanking noise. Whatever. We got company. Breaking attack. Here we go. than all the other direction. I think my just think is not uh, well calibrated. Uh, can I calibrate in here? Joystick mode? Yes, I know joystick mode. Proceed to next waypoint. We got company. Breaking attack. Here we go. Oh! 
this guy into that one. Proceed to next waypoint. Take an attack. Here we go. drops mines but they don't count. Why do I have torpedoes? Could I change even? Could I change that? I don't need torpedoes here. Proceed to next waypoint. Oh, there's the last one. Break an attack. Here we go. Mr. Prawn, hello. I do not want to die to you. Is there an issue coming to the Oh, yes, of course. Attack my target. Or uh, you can even go here and vagabond. Or my wing. Or my, my wing. Or. Uh... Help me out here! I <laughs> sounded like a joker there. I didn't need to do that. He's doing his thing. Believe me. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, you'll come back, you'll come back. Sure you some help, buddy. There you go. Nailed that critter. Jump boy. Boy? Boy? It says it's boy, right? <laughs> I know it's it's boy, but why is it it's boy? It should be boy. I only have one mine left. <gasps> no, are you fucking kidding me? Why? Uh, no. Did I touch the button? Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I'm missing a mine. No. Are you kidding me? Uh, we'll see if it's okay. Need clearance, TCS Victory. You're clear to land, sir. Is it okay? I don't know if it's okay. I don't know if I did the. Thanks for the follow. Did the notification pop up? I was too. I was too like focused on the name. I love me some System Shock 2. Or 1, but I prefer System Shock 2. Lucky you made it back in one piece. Yeah, I think I failed the mission. How do you know if you did it or not? Must I just go on? <laughs> I just want to do it again. Uh. Okay, I have the official guidebook. <laughs> Let me check it out. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I want to see if I missed anything. Or... Sometimes it just forwards you into a couple of missions if you fail one and I, I want to do pretty much all the missions if I can and I could do this I don't know what happened <laughs> we are at Tor or something it's definitely the mid mid uh, mid game We did that. Togo. Torgo. Okay, we did the first mission. Second mission is the. It skips to Tor 3. Why? What is Tor 3? What? Doesn't even talk about Tor 2. We just skips Tor 2. Are we missing some pages? We are missing some pages. Oh, great. That's awesome. Awesome. I guess this is it. Mind the four jump point, go to Tor 3. Eject or fail, go to Tor 3. So it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, lay two mines at each knife point. Yeah, I would recommend getting more mines. <laughs> so what happened to me won't happen to you. Anyways, it's fine. Nothing happens. Okay, so... Yeah. Let's talk to people. No one? 
No one wants to talk to me. God damn it. I guess this is it. Ah, oh, Colonel. Get your pants. Uh, now that we've got the behemoth tight. prepared, we got Let's a few. Her up, and believe me, she's got a mighty big thirst. Intel has informed us an enemy tanker convoy is traveling through this asteroid belt. Now, you need to disable a minimum of three of their tankers. Our fleet will enter the belt through this jump point. The behemoth will always be about four minutes behind you, so that's all the time you'll have to take out whatever the Duraf is sending away. You leave immediately. Three transports. But I need to kill. So, that's what these are do. the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. as many as possible I don't know, let's go with Maniac right? you're good Maniac you don't listen to me but you're good Hellcat I guess god damn fucking sucks That's not an asteroid. That's not an asteroid. That's a spaceship. Oh, I'm super close to it. Ready to rock and roll. Breaking attack. Watch and learn. Were you waiting? Why is the ship so the shield so big on it? We have three right there. Attack this. That's my target. Not possible. Not possible. Well, I'm gonna attack. <clears throat> At four minutes. There's no time for these missions. These are pretty easy to dispatch. Just put yourself at a, at a spot where. None of their turrets can hit you when they're good. But there's multiple hits. It's kind of easy. Yeah, behind is the best spot. Transport disabled. Oh, is that okay? Do I just need to disable them? I like that voice. Disabled. Back my target. Not possible, Ace. Does it want Disabled. Mission objectives accomplished. There you go. Oh, 
These are tough. Puking in his cockpit. Okay. Yeah, we need to hear this music to know that we like. Need clearance, it. TCS victory. Hey, Colonel. How come our side never thought of rock ships? Anyway, the Admiral sends us congrats, and you're cleared to land. Because we're finally blowing this popsicle stand and we're taking that big mama out for a test drive. Slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Don't say a thing. Heard you got chewed out by the Admiral himself. Yeah, well, I guess I should wear that as a badge of honor. According to the Admiral, sloppy dress means sloppy work. Well, excuse me for not heading to the cleaners every time I swap out a part. Well, he sticks real close to the regs. Yeah, well, after this war is over, I'm gonna make it my mission to loosen the screws on every moving part belonging to guys like him. Yeah, well, save a screwdriver for me, will you? Buy a ticket, sir? To what? Opening night party of my cantina. People are saying the war is almost over. Once we pull the trigger on that bohemian thing, it'll be hasta la vista, los gatos. <laughs> Continue for free. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's been a change of command, Colonel. 
Surprise. No disrespect intended, sir, but why am I not surprised? <laughs> well, as we move closer to the deployment of the behemoth, I've decided to assume command personally. I hold the fate of the Confederation in my hands. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? We are about to enter the Loki system, where we will test the behemoth on Loki 6, home to a small Kilrathi military base. Loki 6 is a unique planet in that it orbits a quasar. As you know, the quasar blocks out all stellar communications. So the base will be unable to call for help. But by the time the Kilrathi sent out a ship to investigate, we shall be pulling up just outside downtown Kilra. <laughs> but before we can test fire the behemoth, a little house cleaning is in order. On this mission, I'd like you to sweep out Loki 6's surrounding environs. Don't leave any strays out there. We don't need anyone bothering us when we line up the weapon for its first test. Got it. Understood, Admiral. Quest on a massive and extremely remote celestial object with an exceptionally large amount of energy. Typically so, having these a are the starlight objectives. image in the telescope. It has been suggested that a quantum oh, contain massive thing. black holes that may represent a stage in the evolution of some galaxy. Interesting. Okay. Hoo hoo hoo. Cobra, it's been a while. Cobra? <coughs> I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Uh, Rachel, El Cat <laughs> Five again. The shitty ships. <sighs> Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. There you go. <laughs> ta -ta -ta -ta. Now we need to continue on this. Oh, we're dead. The end. So, blah. The blah. Yeah, Cobra, Cobra, that's good. Just a ship here. To another ship. Check it out. I am the ultimate badass. Yeah. State of the badass art. Go ahead, run it. 
might not want to fuck with me. Hey, James! Thanks for the host. How are you doing in this fine evening, Elcat 5? Or Arrow? Got some eats again? Yeah, eats Yeah, eats Oh, oh, eats Yeah, I like eats I had to rage a bit. I don't know why. Enemy sighted. Break. Break and attack. Break, break, break. Going after. Break and attack. Going after. Power. Break and attack. Full Going after. Power. <laughs> Pilot instead of the flare button. Oh, now I have no radar. Great. Shit. Okay, we're gonna restart this. It's one of my favorite movies. They're showing Alien in some theaters this month. I kind of wish they're showing Aliens instead, though. <laughs> oh man, Alien is incredibly good. I prefer Alien than Aliens. Over the years, that. Oh, did I say continue? I was. I used to prefer Aliens, but Aliens is just a great action movie. Alien, the first one, is a friggin' masterpiece. Uh, the mystery of it, the, just that that movie, in, like alone, just Alien. When you watch Alien, don't think about Aliens. Don't think about the Queen. Just the guys trapped in the ship with one alien and they can't do shit <laughs> and in the movie it all goes down like really quick at the end it's not like there's a there's a death at the beginning of the movie there's a death in the middle of the movie there's a death at the, no, no, no. it's like no death nothing's happening really it's just suspenseful and what the fuck's going on and just exploring just you just understand what the creature is all about actually as they observe it and do things on it. <laughs> it's such a great movie. It's a perfect, it's an horror movie more than a sci-fi movie. Uh, yeah, I want this instead, and I want something seeking everywhere. But I know everyone, everybody prefers Aliens. Like everybody prefers Terminator 2. And recently, especially after watching them back to back, movies that I watched like dozens, 20 times more. I don't know, Terminator 1, especially 2. But yeah, after re watching the first one and the second one, and now like about a month ago, like back to back, uh, the second movie. Like, I think the first movie holds up better now. The second movie has special effects that have aged, yeah. The first movie still has great effects, physical effects. 
and the story is just more taller, it's better encapsulated. Breaking attack. Going out. And the second, there's a couple of things that are really stupid in Terminator 2. But hey, I won't complain. Everybody loves that movie. Oh, I need full guns. I need this. No. Up, up, up. Bring it down. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I need to do this before launch. Oh, he's gone. Clapping booties. <laughs> oh man, thank god I was waiting for you. So, by the way, uh, Fallout 1.5 it wasn't so hard. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm kind of half serious. It was harder than Fallout 1 or 2, maybe. It wasn't so hard. Oh my god. And you can definitely play the game with one of the three. Ah, uh, oh, come on! The three presets that the game gives you. They're really not so bad. You can definitely play stealth at the end of that game. And uh, speech. But you definitely need like more than 100 speech all the time, every time. And maybe at the end, I, I needed more than that. Like 125 or something. 130. Yeah, eventually it will come. I've heard that it's not that great. But I might prefer it because... Uh, I think it's this... This bullshit in the... 1.5, I don't know. Oh, she retreat? No! What? What? I'm all alone! You reject? No! In some ways, you probably got the bad endings. You think? Oh, because I didn't save the guys, maybe? Because at the end I had the choice to save the guys in the... But I made the... Spoilers for Fallout 1.5. Replay. I made the boss kill himself. So I did it all, like, uh, non-violently. Please tell me more about the endings. What do you have to do to do the good ending? Or the bad ending? I've seen Galaga, yes. Yes, Galaga is awesome. I think I own it. I don't think we won't come out of this good. <laughs> Maybe you ran it in lower resolution. Give the word, sir. Oh. Breaking attack. Going out. She was ready and waiting for me. Yeah, Clappin, tell me about the ending. I, I wanna know if I add the good or the bad ending. Or are you just joking about the good ending or the bad ending? Oh 
Oh my god, they're all behind me. Very aggressive. Oh, I have an A-Wing. Yeah, that's not bad. It's good, but man, there's so many now. I want Cobra to kill some because we're not doing this. Yes, oh no. I thought she was about to say that yeah, she killed one. I don't know which one which one's on the on the there. Ah oh, come on! Stop with you fucking missiles. Wow. Ah oh, no, you need to retreat, no! You check them, no! Ah, oh, this is I'm done. If you check on YouTube for Black Moon Fellow, you will see the main difference. Okay. Oh, you mean the endings? Like, you mean all the little vignettes about the towns? You mean? Oh, no, I, I know that. I, I mean, I'm sure some towns I could have done better or something. I don't care about that. Yeah, Fallout has like a multiple endings. Like, mm -hmm. Unlimited end combinations of endings. And usually it's not possible to have everybody liking you. Play, but this is getting ridiculous. Like she, as soon as we get to the second part, she just doesn't kill anyone. She can't. Oh, I forgot again about the fucking power. No, fuck off. Really? Of course there is. Because they guys these guys didn't understand what Fallout was. Enemy sighted, Colonel. There's no good or bad ending in Fallout, it's all bad. It's fucking fun. Again, I forgot again! Fast. 
again, it's just boosting all the time. Incredible. Boosting and shooting in the nice. This thing, I guess. Attack my target. Yes, sir. <sighs> Look at that. It's so nice to see them. They're so much better than me. <laughs> Kind of like breaking, shooting, going away. Yeah. It's nice. attack. Breaking attack. Going after. Oh, oh no, the you guys. I 
Oh man, <laughs> like I think it's over, but oh no, forget it, forget it. This guy is just, just, looks like a bait more than anything. Oh, okay, it's all guys like this. God, how many? Oh, still fighters. Eh? Hey. What is that? Uh, not really. Usually, well, last year we bought a turkey for like the first time ever. It's a holiday, so... Like, things are closed and stuff like that, but... It's definitely not what. Uh, it's definitely not the Thanksgiving of the Mission uh, objective of America. Accomplished. It's not a big Thanksgiving. It's just a thing. Nothing special. Yeah, something. Like that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a dinner. I have a dinner with my family every year. <laughs> with my bigger family, you mean? Like my mother and things like that. Yeah, even then, I usually come back here. Early enough to stream. That's the behemoth. Or am I going into the behemoth? I can't hold by that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is the good music. <laughs> Using that you did it. TCS victory. Looks like smooth sailing for the big B, Colonel. You're cleared to land. Excellent. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. turkey it was good but I didn't have turkey before but that's the first one that I did like at home here and uh, yeah it was cool I took like a the leg <laughs> I just wanted to do that like have the big fucking leg it's so fucking huge and be like <laughs> but it's a uh, it's it's rough a turkey like you can't just roll over it's like like <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for all the vegetarian that I I have a pet turkey that's doing <laughs> Wow. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Yeah, this was nice. Uh, kinda tired, but we'll be continuing Wing Commander 3 on uh, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time also. Uh, I'll be starting Daggerfall. Uh, we did some arena before I finished arena, Elder Scroll Arena. Now we're gonna do some Elder Scroll 2, chapter 2. Like it's a second chapter, like the first was it. We needed the chapter 2, that's an important story. 
Hey, thanks uh, Mr. Pa for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thanks uh, Goose. Shorter stream? Well, I mean, usually my stream are two and a half to three hours. And it's two, it's about 2.39. So that's it. 2.40. I don't want to go into another mission and just like get stuck and be frustrated and be like... Like I like finishing a stream on a good mood. <laughs> you know? Because I won't be able, I, I'll be able to do like one or two runs of the mission. Maybe just one because I'll have to talk to everybody here. And I, st I like to start uh, the stream with talking to people before go going in. Yeah, exactly. Like the last stream of Fallout lasted four uh, more than four hours. So yeah, sometimes I just bust the three hours, especially if I want to finish the game. Uh, that night. So we're gonna raid someone. Tragic Twisted Chaos. She's playing some. Oh no, she's she's gone. <laughs> nope, it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Hey, there you go. Taco Salad's playing some Salmon Max. Love me some Salmon Max. Oh God damn it! <laughs> Having some trouble here. What? That doesn't work here? Huh. That's weird. There you go. That works. Okay. Thanks everyone for uh, ch checking out my uh, channel, watching, uh, hanging out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can jump into my Discord. We can talk about games all the time. I like to talk about games all the time. I can't shut up about games. So, see you soon, guys. Remember to have fun. Peace.